Okay, so now we import our terrain into Mudbox. We just open it, terrain object. And um, there we are. We have our terrain within Mudbox. Now the first thing I do is that uh, it has too many hard edges uh, and I need to soften those ones. So what I'll do is um, I'll first of all subdivide it once. That is a shift D. Yeah, that's once. And uh, now I'll be able to smooth it out and even sculpt out the kind of details that I will finally want to see. So I use the smooth over here under the sculpting tools and uh, hit on B to reduce my brush. And uh, I just brush it out like that just to smooth out all these hard edges. I could increase my brush a little bit more and uh, smooth that out. Um, Smooth these out also. Any place where you feel there is a hard edge, just come in and uh, just brush it out, round it off. So, I'm going to brush it off, including some of these areas down here. Some of these areas need. Uh, some brushing off also. Okay. okay, so I have finished most of the smoothing. Did it uh, best as I could. Uh, any of the hard edges, just uh, finish them up. Just using the smooth and uh, changing brush sizes using B. Uh, the B key and uh, left mouse button just to make it bigger or smaller. Now I'll be using now the grab brush. Uh, and what the grab brush does is, uh, let me increase the size of the brush, hit on B and just make it big enough, something like that. And all you need now is to just sculpt these landscape. I'll just pull these areas up, push others down, like that. Reduce the brush, pull some of these in like that. Uh, if you feel it has gone too high up, you can use smooth and bring it down a bit go back to brush and um, even the walls uh, near the road I come in and just pull them out a bit like that just to give them some roughness because we're going to have some rocks on this wall facing over here just slightly like that. Um, and even some areas down here, like this area here, could just lift them up a bit, just sculpt it to your heart's content. And so what I'm going to do is, let me pause this so that I finish up uh, the sculpting uh, through and through just by using the grab and the smooth and changing the size uh, like that. So let me just finish up then can move on. Okay, so now once you're through with the grab tool uh, it's time now to import all my paint layers so that i can sort of paint them on on the terrain so i'll come in here to the paint layer and import import layer and i'll start with the base layer the rock so i import that as a diffuse layer and then i give it a mask and flood the mask with a white color so i have to come to paint Pick the brush, you don't need to use a stencil at this point, and flood it with a black color. It's same as working with layers, uh, with working with masks in Photoshop. Um, when I flood, it all goes away. But if I come in and change this color to white and paint in, I'm actually going to be painting in now the rock, just revealing it as I go along. So we're going to do this for all our layers. Uh, although for the rock layer, we may not need to have uh, to be painting it in, it just be the base layer. But for now, let's just leave it as is. Uh, let me import uh, the next layer, which is uh, soil in that hierarchy. So soil, soil tea, the one that uh, we baked. Uh, there we are. Then also a layer for it. And uh, I better flood it with black. Uh, flood paint layer like that um, and even for the rock I better just flood it in. So import now the grass 
remember they're the ones we baked in 3d max and uh, again uh, this, the grass layer should be above the soil yes there we are. give it a mask and flood then finally I put in the tarmac so uh, import layer and I get my tarmac Okay, there we are and I also flood that with a black color Oops. make sure it's the mask uh, mask and flood the mask now um, all we need to do is now start painting in these layers so I'm just going to paint a small area here I'm just going to paint work on this area then uh, we'll finish up uh, I'll actually have to pause it and finish up on the rest um, so I start with the mask of the tarmac and I need a white color over here done and then uh, all I need to do is paint uh, make sure the brush is small and when I paint now I'm painting in the road so up to there maybe there we are I could make the brush bigger slightly bigger zoom in so that at least I can easily see uh, there we are so paint that in nicely don't worry about the spillover you can come in and paint it out if you want to paint it out or invert the color here all you have to do is hit control and just do that and uh, you have started painting out a spillage so uh, now I just get this up to a point there just continue on so you have to do this for the entire road all the way through the time you have to go through, 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 all the way. All right, so that's the road. Then the gra the soil, we need to, let me just paint a little bit more here. So for the soil now, uh, all you need to do is come to the mask of the soil and paint white. And since it's below the tarmac, it's just going to appear below where the tarmac is. You know? And I see some soil here. So for the tarmac, I think we need to paint here. Uh, so let me come back to soil here and the mask. Remember the mask. And uh, brush that out. No, just paint that nicely. Like that. So now that I have that, now I'm seeing my soil over there. Nicely. Um, the next thing I need to do is get um, the grass involved. So I'll come to the grass and decide that I want some grass and just all I need to do is paint. And since the grass is above the soil, so you have to bring it this way. It will always appear above the soil. So. And then I'll just paint some grass there around this area perhaps. Or maybe here I might hit on control and get rid of some of this because I'll put some soil there. Uh, nicely over there then on top of the ridge here I think I would also need some soil there let me up to a point there that's fine some soil and uh, uh, some grass not just soil sorry so now that I have these grass nicely appearing over there now I can come to my rock the mask okay, with a white color and come in and paint in the rock just paint in my rock I can make the brush bigger and uh, you can paint the rock even in there and here and these whole things should be the rock right there going all the way maybe so let me reach a point there so all I need to do is look at this area here so, so now that I have my rock there nicely then I come and fill in uh, the grass uh, up there, let's get some grass there, right there, nicely, and even down here I think we need me make the brush size smaller and get some grass in here, all the way to a point there, and then we come back to our soil, so it's a matter of just painting in whatever it is you need, whenever, wherever, and notice the the soil is above the rock so i can paint above on the rock with the soil the tarmac now we can actually come in and see we have to be careful just make sure it's the mask and painting our tarmac wherever we need the tarmac nice then we can invert our, 
our uh, the color here by hitting on control so that we can get rid of any spillage like here for example but I won't do that so I come to the soil again and now I think it's time I use um, a stamp so I can use a stamp and uh, that's fine and when I start painting you notice it, it has that it's not a really hard edged brush so you can do that and here also I think I'll just make a few strokes down here and, uh, there like that and now we are having just some soil due to soil erosion and even down here it's good to just break these up so that you don't have a really definite horizon I don't think the soil should be going that high up but it's fine and here also we can do that then let me change the material of uh, our terrain here you have material presets let me make it gray flat gray so that yeah it's not shiny you can have that and now you notice our terrain is not looking that bad so you need to do that for the entire entire terrain okay so now that the textures are done next i'm going to actually add a new layer and i'm going to just add a bump layer uh, just a simple bump map so come in here and just add a bump map uh, that's a layer for this and uh, okay so now we have a bump layer now the first thing i usually do is come to the bump layer and sort of flood it with black Let's flood it with black to zero out everything and then now i can use the white color with varied amounts of strength uh, let me just zoom in i'll use a stencil and i'll use this one here uh, make it smaller slightly smaller that and I have to reduce the strength when I click now now you notice I'm starting to have uh, a bit of bumpiness there though not high enough so maybe there and make this slightly bigger and paint that and yes I'm starting to get some bumpiness there so. So now I paint along the areas where we have rocks and even beyond. Uh, try and randomize so that each one of them is different. So later on you could reduce the bump map. But So I go through, go through most of the areas with the rocks and just work on the bottom. And I could use other kind of uh, stencils over here, although these ones I need to reduce the strength. Be something like that so that it's not so... Uh, and uh, it's too much. So remove randomness and still kill this. Just want a hint of roughness, yes, on these rocks of ours. Remember, it's just a bump map. We are working on only a bump map. 
just make these a bit rough and these ones just give them some texture then I'm going to go through and just finish up with this whole bump map thing and I, as I said you could reduce it from this point here all right so let me go through and uh, finish up with it So uh, after all your paint layers are ready, including our bump layer, uh, that one, uh, now we need to export them. But first I need to merge the diffuse layers. Uh, so I'll click on the first one here, right click and come here and merge visible, no, uh, merge visible, just come there and just do that. And now you actually have one map, which all you need to do is right click and export selected and um, I've given it some folder there and I'll call it terrain diffuse oh it has two R's terrain diffuse and uh, save it as a JPEG yeah? And also the bump map come in here this one you don't need to merge it's only one all you need to do is export it as terrain bump you do the same if you had a normal map or any other maps uh, it's the same same thing so save that out then I need to select uh, my model over here okay and export the model itself because remember we, we 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 actually added a new subdivision a new subdivision level so it's not the exact same one we got from max uh, we've added some more detail so i'll export this one now um just export selection and i'll throw it in a folder there and i'll call it the terrain done uh, as an obj so save that and uh, you're totally done with the uh, map box so let's just jump into 3d max and import the terrain so when we come into max uh, all we need to do is import our terrain there line one okay import and uh, there it is now we do have our terrain uh, next all i need to do is just place the maps and see if they are working uh, so I come to maps I put a material there just a normal standard material there I assign it to our terrain and uh, bring in our maps so I'll come to that and get diffuse that and also uh, come in here and get my bump then all I need to do is just hook them up. Uh, so this one, throw it under ambient and diffuse, and this one goes to bump. Then on the bump map, I think I just need to make this 100. And uh, show that, and uh, we are done. Uh, so you have exactly what we had in my box, and uh, all I need to do is maybe add a light or so. Let me show a frame, add some kind of light and uh, just render it to see how it behaves. So just do that there, add the light, so come to my lights here, maybe a standard light over there, maybe shade this so that I can see, can even make it realistic, no problem. Um, I'm on this side here. I bring this one all the way here and lift it up on this side here. Maybe there. And uh, increase, just put shadows on. Uh, and increase my hot beam here so that it covers all the entire area. 
that's fine. And I render this just to see the results. Alrighty, uh, not so bad, not so bad. Uh, it needs a bit of work, but I uh, think uh, this is okay. We can actually work with with this. So uh, now all we need to do is uh, bring this terrain into the scene where we had made our car. And then we're going to sort of set dress it with trees and grass and bushes uh, with using mental ray proxies that we had done uh, in a previous video. Um, then we're going to do some uh, image based lighting using some images and just some simple light rig so that we get our final image. So uh, see you in the next video.